Hey everybody, this is Chad from linandchad.com. Today we're going to go over setting up a self-hosted WordPress blog on your own domain. Now if you don't have a domain, you can get one at Bluehost. It's the uh, platform that we use because it has a lot of great features and it also makes installing WordPress really, really simple, which is why we're uh, going to use that today. Um, I'll go ahead and throw a link to Bluehost into this, the description of this video for you in case you don't already have a domain and still need one. Now once you have a domain, you log into your Bluehost account and you're going to scroll down and look for software and services section. Now in there you're going to see a button for WordPress. You can click on that. If for some reason you don't see that, you can just go into Simple Scripts right here. And that's going to bring you to the Simple Scripts page. You can see I already have WordPress installed on my domain. But you'll scroll down, look for the Blogs category, and under that you'll see WordPress. This is exactly where that first link would have taken you if you had it right on your control panel. And once you're here, it's going to tell you a little bit about WordPress. You'll click the green install button. And this gives you, takes you to your options. It asks you what version you want. It's going to default to the most recent version, which is the one you want. Right now that's 2.2.8. And it's going to ask you where you would like WordPress to be installed. Now for most cases, you're going to want it to be right at the root domain. For me, that would be linenchad.com. But since I already have an installation there, I'm just going to put it in a subfolder. You will probably not want to do this, so skip the step of the subfolder. You're just going to put it right at your root domain. You type in where you want it, if you want it anywhere. Step two is advanced options. These are completely optional. You can not even open them up if you don't want to. It's basically giving your blog a name and a username and password and the checkbox to create a database. You want to make sure that's still checked if you come in here. If you don't specify any of these, it's just going to use a default and it will give those to you on the next page after it's installed. I'll go ahead and use a username. And a password. So if that's my password. You're going to check off the two uh, terms and conditions and double check everything on the screen. Click complete. From there, it will start to install, and you'll see how easy this is. All you have to do is wait. It's now done. It tells you you can access your website using the following information it gives you your site URL, which is where your new blog is, where you, wherever you told it to install it. If you go to that website, it pulls up your blog for you. Right now it's pretty boring because it's empty and it's using the default theme, but we'll fix that later. Now remember, I use the, uh, the subfolder just because I didn't want to go over my actual blog. So you're going to leave that alone. It will just say your domain name. In addition to that link, it also gives you your login URL. Now this is the exact same URL. If you look at these two lines, they are exactly the same. The only difference is at the end, it says slash WP hyphen admin. That is your login page. Just type your domain slash WP hyphen admin and it will give you a page like this where you can type in your username and your password. It then logs you into your blog and it will tell you notice you're using the auto generated password for your account. It just recognizes that you haven't changed your password since the initial installation and you probably want to change it to something else. It will give you um, a link to your profile page and you can find that by going to users under here. So that is how you set up your personally hosted WordPress blog on a Bluehost, I'm sorry, site. Hope you found that helpful and uh, stay tuned for more videos.